Rival Friends and Gardner Ban Ban are about to battle it out to see who has the saddest origin stories. Will it be Yellow Rainbow Friend, Coach Pickles, or Cyan Rainbow Friend's origin story that gets us crying the most? Make sure to watch to the end because we'll reveal the saddest Lanky Box story of all time. So get your tissues ready for this emotional video. Let's go! You really think you can get away with this? Don't you understand? I saved your life. You'll never have to worry or search for shelter again. Because you trapped me here. Oh my goodness, it's Queen Bouncelia versus Ban Ban. Trapped you? You're lucky I brought you here at all. Turn me back now. Wow, so guys, that's the power of Queen Bouncelia's heart wand. It shoots like a pink laser. And she's saying, turn me back. So Ban Ban turned her into Queen Bouncelia? Why? Why do you want to go back to your old miserable life? It may have been miserable, but at least I was free. Long ago, I was a young kangaroo, living my life free in the wild, but I was no ordinary kangaroo. Wow, this is interesting. Guys, usually when we see the origin of Batman characters, it's a human that gets turned into Batman. So we'll put a clip on screen. Like, Jumbo Josh used to be a person, mm -hmm. and he got, like, transformed, right? Batman used to be a person, but Queen Malcelia was actually a rabbit. Wow, or a kangaroo. Oh, that's a kangaroo? Yeah. Okay, they were actually a kangaroo that got turned into a kangaroo. I was the princess of my kangaroo colony. Things were fantastic. I had nothing to complain about, nothing to want. It was perfect. Is that real? So I'm learning, guys. If you feed a kangaroo enough purple grapes, it turns into a purple kangaroo. Oh, you are what you eat. Wow. That's crazy. I had nothing to complain about, nothing to want. It was perfect. Too perfect. I woke up one night to a strange smell. It was smoke. Something was burning. My colony, everywhere was going up in flames. I searched for my father, the king. Dad, Dad, are you there? But it was too late. My entire family, my people, they all either left or perished in the fire. I had no idea which. I didn't want to know. So I ran as fast as I could. I found a hiding spot. I simply had to wait until the smoke cleared and the flames were over. It felt like forever, but I could finally head to the surface again. Guys, this is so sad. So Queen Malcia was an actual princess of a kangaroo kingdom, uh -huh. but then one day she woke up and everything is burning down. You know what I think happened, bro? Okay, go ahead. I think Ban Ban, let me cook, bro. Mm -hmm. Let me cook. Mm -hmm. I think Ban Ban came in and set fire to everything so he could steal Queen Bouncilia. Oh, let's find out if that's true. My life as I knew it was utterly destroyed. Everyone and everything I knew was gone. All I could do was head off on my own, maybe try and find a new colony. But my lavish life as a princess, it was over. And things were about to get much worse. Ha ha! Lucky you. You escaped their fire. Shame you seem to be the only one. Don't worry. We'll find somewhere to send you real quick. What the? No! Dad! Help! <laughs> I was what? caught by a poacher. I couldn't fully understand what he had said. Something about shipping me to the mainland for trophy hunting. I had no idea what fate was in store for me. I could be sold off to be butchered or used in some freak show. Okay, guys, so it looks like some hunters or something captured her with like a net and mm -hmm. they put her on a boat? Yeah, they tried to steal her. You can't do that, man. Kangaroos can't swim. Mm -mm. The suspense was torture. But one night, a huge storm kicked up on our journey. What? <gasps> Told ya. What? Told ya. <laughs> Big oof. Our boat sank right into the ocean. Thankfully, my crate managed to keep me afloat. <gasps> I was so lucky I survived. I don't know about the rest of the ship. I floated in my crate for what seemed like days, weeks even. I was so thirsty, so hungry, but eventually, I made it to dry land. I managed to break free with the last of my strength. I blacked out. The next thing I remember was something or, or someone was dragging me away. Hey, it's okay. I'm trying to help. Bro, that's like when Adam's mom picks me up, dude. I gotta get out, bro. Yeah, guys. She does not like it when he does that. Yeah, guys, don't do that, okay? I'm Emily. 
I was suspicious. So far, humans had done nothing but harm me. Can I... pet you? But something about her was so... trustworthy. She was just like me. A little girl. I like you. We're friends now. I don't think I can bring you inside, though. My parents said we have too many animals already. They'll make me give you to a zoo. I've got an idea. This was my dad's shed, but he lets me use it as a playhouse. Wow, so Queen Balancelia made a friend named Emily, and Emily's gonna keep her in this house. Oh, how cool. Let's go. It's my very own princess castle. You can stay here until you feel better. Okay, best friend? She was the sweetest soul I've ever met. You stay here. I'll bring you stuff to play with. As great as this new place was, it reminded me of my old home, my family, my kingdom, and it hurt a lot. It was a constant reminder of what I'd lost. <laughs> I got you something. Since you looked down, I brought you this. You can't be a princess without a crown and a scepter. Ta-da! You're perfect! Oh my goodness, bro. That's the origin story of Queen Balsilia. The wand and the crown are from her friend, Emily. Wow, now she's a princess. Wait a minute. Hold up. Okay. Something tells me it's gonna get real sus. Emily said that the house that she's in is in is her dad's shed. Guess what? I think her dad is Ban Ban. Oh no, her dad's gonna come in and be like, Welcome to the Garden of Ban Ban, you're now mine. Once again, Justy has cracked the code. Mm -mm -mm. He does not I miss. Have, I've solved the mystery. I've solved the mystery once again. Yes, Detective Justin's on the case. Yes, yes. It was so nice to be cared for again. Even if it wasn't quite the same, I was once again royalty. Emily and I quickly became best friends. She visited me every day bringing me snacks, and playing all sorts of games. The days always ended with a big hug. This shed became my new home. But suddenly, one night, Emily burst in while I was asleep. Wake up, wake up! My parents are so mad at me. They found out about you, and they said you were a dangerous wild animal. They didn't care that you're my friend. They called animal control. They're gonna come after you and... It's the storm! It's supposed to be a bad one. You stay in here for now. I'll come get you tomorrow. Then we'll run away. I promise I'll keep you safe. I was terrified of being caught, but I should have been terrified of something else. Emily wasn't lying. A bad storm was brewing. I had to stay safe. It was like the fire all over again or the hurricane on the ships. Natural disasters followed me wherever I went. Once again, my home was destroyed. I was heartbroken, but I had to make sure Emily made it out. If I left, then animal control may find me, but I needed to know if she was okay. I followed the path she usually walked to the shed, and I found her home. Or what was left of it. Their house looked even worse than mine. I could only hope her family made it out in time. They had to come back for something eventually, so I stayed and waited for her to return. That's so sad. So Emily, the human who took care of Queen Balsilia, her family's house was also ruined in the storm. Mmm, it all makes sense now. I watched all day and night and the next day and the next. I don't know how long I waited, but Emily never came back. <gasps> Oh, no! no idea how a kangaroo ended up in these parts, especially a fairy princess kangaroo, but you're coming with me. I was imprisoned. They didn't know exactly what to do with a kangaroo, so they kept me locked away in solitary confinement, away from the dogs and cats. I hoped to be sent to some zoo or nature preserve, but to my surprise... Lucky girl. Someone claimed you. My heart raced. <gasps> Emily came back for me after all. Come with me, friend. You're coming to your new home. No! No, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Look at his hat! Dude! How is Justin nine steps ahead? Oh, no! Don't do the <laughs> Listen, everyone listen. This, is, this video went from funny to serious. 
if you go alone to the bathroom at 3 a.m. Mm -hmm. and you say into the mirror with the lights out, just say that exact three times. Don't do that, guys. Don't say that. This, you, this might appear. <laughs> Don't go with him, guys. Don't trust Justin.exe. Ever. He is an AI. Mm hmm He's got to be trusted. No, no, no. This strange man dragged me away. I knew once and for all that my dreams of being <laughs> were dead. Thank you for coming with me, my new friend. I have a proposition for you. You see, I run a kindergarten. A place for children. And we are in need of a mascot. That's why I brought you here. Would you like to be the face of Ban Ban's kindergarten? That doesn't even make sense. He's the mascot of Ban Ban's kindergarten. He's Ban Ban. Why does he need a kangaroo, bro? A place for children? Children like Emily? He would be loved and revered by every kid who came here. Loved? Revered? I was sold. If you agree to join me, hop right up here and we'll get going. We need to get you cleaned up before you get started. It seems like you've had quite the rough voyage, but it's okay. It's all uphill from here. I had no reason not to trust him. I followed his directions. Now hold still. Listen, guys. Oh, listen. No. If Ban Ban finds you, uh -huh. and he says, get into this contraption and let me point a laser beam filled with EXE at you, don't ever do that, guys. Don't ever do that. Just run. Yes. Run. As fast as you can. And then in tattle on him. Yeah. Oh! Well, I guess it's still a kangaroo. Oh, no, no, no. You, you changed me? Yes, into our lovely new mascot. But I thought, or I didn't think. Listen to you, you can talk. And you're the perfect huggable size. Kids are going to love you. And what about this? <laughs> that, that was an accident. But who needs a pouch, right? We'll get you something with pockets. You promised I would be loved, revered. No one is going to love me like this. I'm a monster. You'll get used to it. It's barely even noticeable. Whoa. Uh-oh. Like I said, barely noticeable. I don't care what you say. I'm a monster. My life is over. Wait, wait. How dare you? I'm a princess! Look, regardless of what I did, you can't go back to your old life. Your kangaroo kingdom is gone. Emily is gone. But we're here. A new garden of Ban Ban family. And if you say you're a monster, that's okay. We all are. <gasps> wow! Let's go. Now that we have seen the origin story of Queen Balsailor, we're gonna make her in Roblox. That was crazy, bro. Wow, guys, we're gonna make Queen Balsailor a Roblox account. What was your favorite thing about that story, bro? Hmm, I would probably say when she transformed from the normal kangaroo into the kangaroo with the naughty pouch. This looks like her crown, bro. Oh yeah. I'm gonna get this. Now guys, when we search Queen Balsilia, we really didn't find that much. So I'm gonna look up purple kangaroo. Ooh, or fairy uru. What? Oh, that's a lot better. Uh, fairy uru. <laughs> Yo, this one's like, damn. Hey. Oh, Ooh. pretty lit, let me buy that. Wow, 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 wow. Guys, we're gonna make the best uh, Queen Balsilia or Fairy Uwu um, costume ever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's gonna be lit. All right, I'll use that for the head. That kind of looks like Queen Balsilia. We'll put a picture of her on screen right here. Here we go, guys. I'm gonna look up, um, uh, okay, get this. Oh, 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 purple pink kangaroo ears. Yep, yep, definitely, definitely, definitely need that. Looks great. Get the purple and pink kangaroo tail. Yep, need that. Yep, yep. Now we just need the, the, the pouch, bro, with the naughty ones, bro. Ah, oh, how are we gonna find that? Kangaroo? How Maybe? are we gonna find, like, a purple uh, kangaroo, yeah. What if you just type kangaroo? Good idea, Adam. Good yeah. idea. Let's see if there's a kangaroo. Now, guys, I'm... Oh. Yo! No way. Is that... Yo. Let's wow. Get that. Let's get that. Now, guys, I'm um, not really sure. Kangaroos, I believe, evolved from cats, mm -hmm. but I'm not 100% sure. If you guys know in the comments, let me know. Yeah, we're not quite sure, guys. We're Should not I quite get, sure. Oh, purple kangaroo. Oh, 
Okay, that's pretty good. I'll get that, I'll get that, I'll get that. Fairy Uru. Fairy Uru, how you spell Uru? You are, yeah, something like that. Fairy Uru. Hey, you know what Basil Bay did? I'm gonna look up a uh, heart wand. Oh, I like that. Heart wand, we might, yup! Yeah, found it. Oh, yeah, which one looks the purple one. This, the purple one, this one, one. one, this one, this one, this one, this one? Yeah, it'll look more purple. Yo! All right, now we just gotta get purple. Um, Like a purple, like a, like a hoodie or something. Okay, let's check it out. Let's get a purple shirt and purple pants. I think we'll be almost done, dude. Nice. Guys, for the sad origin story, I'm trying to think of um, things that we learned from that video that we could put into this costume, dude. Mm. Did she like um, any kind of food or anything? Oh, that looks kind of lit. What did she like? Uh, I mean, she was in that crate. Like, we could put her in a oh, box. Oh, box? Yeah. That's a pretty good idea, dude. Yeah, the box that saved her life. Okay, now, okay, I think we have enough. L let's look at this costume, dude. And then we're gonna go into Roblox and prank people by telling them we're the origin of Queen Balsillia. Let's see where we're at, bro. Guys, this outfit's gonna be the craziest thing ever. Sometimes you just gotta see, like, where you're at. All right, mm -hmm. now here we go. Here we go. Come on, Queen Balsillia. Let's go. Let's go. Yo! Wow, that's pretty close. That's actually really good. Tell me why that's actually really good. Hmm, I feel like the, the dragon head here is actually closer to the color and shape. Is this that real? Really? Yeah, I think so. You think this is better? Let's see. Yo, you're right! And then if we just make our body be all purple, like Whoa. our hands and feet, we're pretty much there. Oh! Purple! We're actually Queen Bouncelia, but we don't have the naughty um ones pouch, but that's still lit. Wow. Let's go in Roblox. Guys, look at how good this account looks in Roblox. Dude, you're crazy, man. It really, and you got the heart wand, and you got the tail. That actually, she's about to hippity hop over around here, dude. Wow, you guys can see what uh, Queen Bouncelia looks like on screen. I'm gonna say, I am. And Queen Bouncelia. Time to make some friends, guys. Normally, we can't make friends, but as Queen Bouncelia, I bet everyone wants to be our friend. I don't know why it won't let me type. I am Queen... I am Bouncelia. Why won't it let me type that, bro? I am Purple Kangaroo. Okay, people say... Okay, yup. Yup. Yes, I am. Uh-huh. Yes, I am. Let's go say hi to this person. Hello. Uh, I am Purple Kangaroo. I am Queen Purple Kangaroo. Nice to meet you. You know what I mean? Let's see what they say. Oh, oh, they turned to a fox. Okay. I am Queen Purple Kangaroo. I have sad oh. origin story. I was turned this way by Ban Ban. Dude, people are actually hanging out with us. Usually in Roblox, people just run away and call us cringe. Wow, people actually want to chill. I was put in a crate and on a boat and then saved by Emily. Yo, <laughs> where'd they go, man? I'll tell them the story. Where'd they go? <laughs> oh man, that's all right guys. That's all right, we got one friend left. And then a storm took away her house, and then I was found <laughs> by Ban Ban. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Cricket sound effect. Okay. 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 Now. We are gonna actually go and x-ray Queen Bouncilia. You think we're gonna be able to see the naughty one? Yes, guys, if you take an x-ray of a kangaroo, you'll be able to see inside its pouch. What? All right, now I'm gonna go in here. Let's go x-ray Queen Bouncilia. It's already pointing to the naughty pouch. Oh boy. Sus, sus, sus. This is it, sus, guys. Sus, 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 sus. Let's see what the reading says. What's it gonna say, dude? It's good, this might be a huge leak right here. Oh no. That'd be a huge leak right here. Let's see what the sign says. Oh! oh! Is that the Jaster? Somebody sent us a video of the sad origin story of Yellow Rainbow Friend. Let's watch it! Yellow Rainbow Friend may seem scary now, but there was a time when he was just a playful little dinosaur. Whoa! This video's crazy! This is the sad origin story of Yellow! Living peacefully in the jungle. This is his sad origin story. Whoa! Yellow was too young to fly high in the sky, but he dreamed about it every day. He spent his days happily on the ground, playing with his dinosaur friends among the tall trees. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool, guys! Little did he know, his simple and carefree life was about to change. Nah, bro, are these people gonna come in and like attack him and his family or something? The little baby dinosaurs, bro. Oh no. One terrible day, loud noises and dark smoke filled their peaceful home. Human hunters, seeking trophies for their collections, 
had found their hidden paradise. The hunters began to burn their jungle home to drive the creatures out. No! Yellow's parents knew that they had to save their only child. That's Yellow Rainbow Friend's mom and dad. That's Yellow Rainbow Friend's parents. Wow, guys, this is insane. Yellow, still too young to understand the gravity of the situation, was too terrified to move. Oh. Huh? His parents made the ultimate sacrifice. What? Guys, his parents made the ultimate sacrifice. Now, guys, the person who sent us this video said to watch the rest of it, we need to beat Rainbow Friends as yellow. Now we gotta beat Rainbow Friends as yellow to actually unlock the secret ending to that video. Guys, that was so sad. So basically, to recap what happened, yellow was a little baby, guys. We'll put it on screen right now. Yellow was a little baby, and it lived in a forest. And then a bunch of humans came and then, like, destroyed the forest. And then, but it said his parents made the ultimate sacrifice. Now, guys, we gotta learn what that sacrifice was. Wait a minute, Adam. Huh? I'm putting it all together. Wait, he lives in a forest. And what is the map of Rainbow Friends 1 called? The Hemlock Woods. Hemlock Woods. Oh, so you think those bad guys burned down the Hemlock Woods? They might have. What if the people who burned down the forest... Wait, we're in a forest right now. What if they burned it down to make Oddworld? Oh, that would actually make a lot of sense. They're like, we need land to build this amusement park. Time to burn down the forest. And that's why Yellow's so mad. That's why Yellow haunts Oddworld. It just flies around, tries to oof everyone because it says, this was my home. Oh, man, it all makes sense now. Watch out for blue guys, he's right behind you we're not sure if that's the ending but we're gonna find out guys we gotta find out if that's the true ending to this game or not yes guys we will watch the rest of the video at the end after we beat this game guys this is so crazy adam did you go to purple's lair yet yeah i did okay guys let's go guys we're doing really good we only got eight more light bulbs to go Nice, I'm going to Orange and then Blue's Castle. Guys, we're going to try and speedrun Rainbow Friends faster than we ever have before because I really want to see the ending of this video. Now, guys, we'll put a sneak peek on screen right now of the ending of this video. It is going to be crazy. Yellow Rainbow Friend is going to be a full-grown adult, and he's going to just attack everyone at Oddworld, probably. Exactly, guys. I actually heard that when Yellow grows up, that's when he's able to fly. What? Are you yeah. serious? Like, as a baby, he wasn't able to fly, but then he grew up, and then he was able to finally fly. It said, guys, at the start, we'll put a clip on screen again of what we saw that yellow was like too young to fly maybe he never learned how to fly so he had to build this helicopter oh he was like i'll show you you guys can't pick on me yep all right i got uh four how many you got four okay wait we're done nice nice all right guys we're speed running i gotta see the end of this video let's go all right adam let's keep going now wait this all makes sense guys what are these Fire extinguishers. Why would Yellow want fire extinguishers? Because the human set the forest, his home, on fire. Oh, and so he probably wants a fire extinguisher so he can rescue his family from the woods. It all makes sense, guys. It all makes sense. Guys, this is so crazy. This is so exciting. We're literally the first people ever to see Yellow's origin story, and we're going to watch it with all of you today. Yeah, that's actually really sad. I feel so bad for what? Yellow because not only could he not fly, but then all these mean people came and destroyed his house. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's so sad. And they took him away from his family, probably. We'll find out what happened, guys. I I'm absolutely speedrunning. I got eight of these already. All right, I'm on the left side of the map. I got three right now. I've already gone through purple's left. I got, I got ten. Nice. I got ten. You just gotta get two more. All right. Oh, boy. Yellow and blue are here now. Don't move, Adam. <gasps> Yellow, Rainbow Friend, he's probably gonna get you, Adam, because he probably thinks that you're one of the humans who's gonna oof his his forest and his family, but he won't oof me because I'm yellow. Ah, oh, you're right, man. You're right, man. Guys, this is so crazy. All right, I got I got ten of them, bro. I'm gonna drop them in. How many you got? Three? I have three. All right, nice. There's only two more, guys. It's probably near Blue's Castle. Yellow is camping me. It's probably some at the start, too. Oh, nice. boy. Boom. Go nice. away, yellow. I'm zooming right now. I literally just got 10. Yup, I knew there's one here. Go away, yellow. There's only one more. Adam, stop. Don't say that to yellow. Be nice to yellow. Because I know, that's yellow true. lost their home. That's true, guys. Don't be mean. Now we know yellow's sad origin story, Adam. Yeah, that's true. And he kind of like walks around like this all day. Like, he's kind of like... I don't know. Kind of sad, sad, huh? Sad, yeah. Adam, go and put in the canisters, dude. Hurry. All uh, right, we got one more. Hurry, dude. Hurry. I'm on it. Don't worry. I literally have found 11. Go, hurry. We got. I'm in Blue's Castle. I'm looking. It's got to be there. Where is it? It's not there. It's usually there. Maybe it's here. It's not there. Uh, where? You went to Purple's Lair? Yep. Yep, yep. Okay, Adam. Going there oh, right there now. it is. I got, I got the last one. Nice. I'm bringing in mine. Go, 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 go. Guys! We're literally speedrunning Rainbow Friends Chapter 2. We've never speedrun it this fast. This is crazy. Dude, I saw you and I legitimately thought you were yellow. Because I am. Let's go. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, guys. Now we got to find the lookies. All right. Now we got the lookies and we got to absolutely go fast because we got to absolutely... <gasps> yellow Rainbow Friend found the yellow lookie. Oh, no. That's not good. That's not good at all, Guys, dude. maybe the lookies or the other Rainbow Friends will be in the end of the story, guys. 
we gotta see what happens. I'm so excited, man. Oh, I got a green looky, but blue's chasing me. Bro. Man, I wonder what the origin of the lookies were. Guys, we might find out one day. We might find out when this secret person who emailed us this video might be sending us another one. You think it might be Red Rainbow sent, Friend Scientist sent uh, us these videos? I think it might have been Red or maybe Yellow's parents because they wanted us to know what happened. Oh, I escaped from Blue on the Ferris wheel because I had a lookie. I didn't want to drop it. Oh, that was smart, dude. All right, Adam, I'll tell you where the other lookies are. Okay, you're going this side. There's nothing on this side. All right. I would, if you go that way, drop down on the bridge. There's a red one. There's a few in the river. Okay, I'll go grab those. Drop down into the river. Watch Good out for yellow. Teamwork. Watch out for yellow. Yep, got it. Dude, I'm zooming. I'm zooming, dude. Got I'm the zooming. red one. Guys, we gotta speed run this, bro. We gotta speed run this. Oh, we're flying through this game, because guys. I really want to see what happened to the origin story of yellow. What do you think it meant when they said yellow's parents made the ultimate sacrifice? I think that they might have, like, uh, given yellow to the bad guys, the hunters, what? in exchange for, like, them not destroying their forest. What? No. I think it's the opposite. I think the parrots probably gave themselves to the hunter and said, don't oof yellow, our baby. Oh, you think so, man? I don't know, man. Something like that, dude. Something real crazy. That would have been so sad, too. All right, we got eight out of ten. Adam's just absolutely getting yeeted on by yellow rainbow friend, the real one. I'm yellow rainbow friend. Dude, I've literally not had any problems with the rainbow friend so far. Maybe because they know I'm yellow, and they know that yellow was taken from his home. Yeah, they're, like, not attacking Justin. They probably think that you're one of them. They probably feel bad for yellow because oh, we're no. learning yellow's sad origin story. Did you go in purple's Oh, there's one in here. Oh, there's only one more, dude. Go away, Blue. All right, I found like 10 of these, dude. Where's the last one? I'm looking. It's probably Blue's Castle. I'm going to Blue's Castle right it's now. It's got to be on that side of the map, Adam. Hurry! I'm going. Hurry! Away, we got to see Yellow's sad origin story. I'm on it. I'm on it. Don't worry. Guys, don't this worry. is so crazy. I bet Yellow, probably all the other Rainbow friends feel really bad for Yellow. Yeah, most likely. But they probably all have sad origin stories, bro. Where's the looky? Bro, are you in Blue's Castle? Yep, I'm in it right now. Not there. Look in here. No? Okay. Oh, it is. It is. It was See, one Adam, of the side See, rooms. Bro. But come Yellow's on, in here. Dude, come on, bro. Adam got picked up by Yellow. Don't drop it, dude. You're going to oof. I won't. I won't. Wait, I won't. wait, wait. You're going to hold on to the lucky? Yeah. Wait, if you drop it, we might glitch out of the game. I'll Adam, hold on. To don't it. oof, man. Should I drop it near the castle? Yeah, I'm, you're I'm here. here. Oh, it's the Yellow lucky. Don't drop it out of the map. Do not. Do not dare. You You are trolling. Where did it go? Oh, there there it is. Okay, okay. I yeah. got it. Yo! See, yellow got the yellow looky. Dude, Adam made the ultimate sacrifice so I could pick up the looky. Exactly, guys. And here's the last one we need. That was some good teamwork. Now we gotta find the sugar packets. Let's go really quick, dude. Let's go. Let's go! Okay, guys. Now we gotta find... Uh, Wait, it says nine sugar packets. Is that normal? I thought it's ten. I think it's normally nine. <gasps> Maybe they're making a smaller cake because the looky's not as hungry. I don't know, guys. We gotta go zoom, zoom. Oh, oh Cyan, no! Oh, that's right, guys. Do you think yellow and Cyan were friends as kids? I don't think so, dude. I think we just saw the origin story. It said, we'll put a clip on screen again. It said Yellow grew up with a bunch of those little dinosaur buddies. Although oh. Cyan kind of looks like a dinosaur too, so maybe, I don't know. That's true, guys. I forgot. Guys, this is so crazy. Now, the only Rainbow friend that's tried to attack me so far is Cyan. Maybe they didn't like each other. Yeah, there's a chance, guys. Maybe maybe Cyan was one of the Rainbow friends that were picking on Yellow as a kid. Yeah, maybe as kids they were like Emonies. Man. Oh, I never know. Purple. That was close. Oh, I got I got four of these. I got four. I have three so far. All right, dude, we're zooming. We're zooming. Oh, you got three? Okay, so we only have one more. Yep. Nice. Oh, I got it. Let's go. All right. Go turn them in quick. All right, I'm heading over. Guys, this is the fastest we've ever speedrun Rainbow Friends because I really want to know Yellow's origin story. As long as we don't get it. Yellow's at the start. Where are you? I'm coming in right now. I'm chilling, dude. I'm chilling. Hurry, Adam. Here we go. Let's go. We are absolutely zooming our way through this game, guys, because we have to see what happened to Yellow. Now, what's interesting, guys, mm -hmm. is when we go in the cart ride, which we'll show you guys, yep. Yellow, when you see Yellow in the cart ride, is a bunch of gold. It's like keeping a bunch of gold. Maybe it's saving up money so that it could rescue its parents. Oh, that actually makes a lot of sense. It's just going to buy a new forest, a new hemlock woods, and say, hey, mom, hey, dad. Come on in here and live here. That makes sense, bro. Everyone wants to make their mom and dad proud. Now, guys, what's crazy also is that we're literally about to go zoom zoom. Now, guys, this is so nuts, bro. Mm -hmm. We're going to learn the sad origin story of Yellow. And what what's really, really crazy about all this, guys, yep. is yep. that there is brand new merch coming to Walmart and Target that is literally going to blow everyone's minds. 
We it's, got we got the giant foxy mystery box. We got a ghosty mystery egg. Mm. You know, ghost, ghosty shout out ghosty. Yay! Right, 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 right. It is literally got, too lit. We got a thick shark mystery egg coming. We got a mega ba 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 ba
It took him a while to understand that he had washed up in an amusement park. Days turned into weeks, and weeks into months. Yellow's hatred towards the humans grew even more. One day, he found a strange vest with an attached propeller on its back. He managed to learn how to use it, and thanks to it once again he was able to fly. Yellow became the guardian of his new home, the amusement park. Any human who dared to step into his park was now his enemy. The playful, joyful pterodactyl Yellow had transformed into the fearsome creature we know today. Wow! Bro, so that was the ultimate sacrifice. Like I said, Adam, they saved his life. So guys, they pushed Yellow from the nest into a river and he floated down the river because he couldn't fly. But we could, we could just guess. I guess his parents were oofed, man. Yeah. That's so crazy. Dude, look at this, bro. They set the whole thing on fire. That's messed up, bro. Yellow woke up, bro, in Oddworld. Bro, that's the Ferris wheel that I used to run away from Blue just minutes ago. Yep, yep, yep. And then there were no more, and it's just machines everywhere. Red rainbow scientists making all this stuff. And then Yellow, this is so crazy, bro. So he's got to protect his home now. That's why he hates all the people at Oddworld. He's angry. Oh, it all makes sense. And now he just lives in Oddworld. Look at how evil he was. This is so crazy. Sad origin. He started as this happy little dinosaur. And now he's so angry, bro. At least that's he found the propeller vest. At least now he can fly. But that he just uses it to try and oof humans. This is so crazy, bro. The he, guardian of the amusement park. This is the saddest origin story I've ever seen in my entire life, bro. Look, he went from that to an evil, angry yellow. Wow, this is insane! Huh? I have to jump before. Oh! It's Tomachaki and Chamataki! They probably can't reach me here. Oh! It seems like I've underestimated my own creation. <laughs> oh my god, this is disgusting. Oh, so they use the tongue attack and the spit bubble. That's what that is. Ew! Why is it so sticky? It's no use trying to free yourself, Ban Ban. Kamataki has you cornered. <gasps> Good luck running from us now! Kamataki's not messing around. Please, boys. You're overreacting. Think of what you were before. What we were before? I happen to like that version of us, Ban Ban. I used to be a normal turtle. I was born into captivity, and since I hatched, I was kept in the back room of a reptile collector. I spent my days isolated from the other animals in a plastic bin. I never <laughs> even got to meet my brothers and sisters. How is that funny, dude? It's a sad little turtle, got no friends. Wow, so guys, we're gonna learn the origin story of Tamataki and Chamataki, and then we're actually gonna show you what happened to them later in the video. We'll put a little sneak peek on screen. And then after that, we're gonna see a brand new Garden Man Chapter 4 leak trailer. You do not wanna miss it. I yearned for freedom, you see? For a turtle, I was exceptionally smart. My genius was far too vast to be contained in a plastic tub. Mm -hmm. And even if I couldn't have freedom, maybe at least some company. And his wish was granted in the form of me. Hi there. Oh my, it's been so long since I've seen anyone other than the hand that feeds me. Hey, look what I can do. Even though I was sad to see him trapped in the same fate as me, it was nice to have a friend. Wow, so that's nice. So um, the turtle was lonely in the pet store, but then he made friends with this. I guess this is a chameleon. It could change colors. Wow, that's actually really cool. Well, that's nice, they're friends. Also, check this out. I can climb. So how long have you been here? Since I was born. What? That's crazy. Were you not born here? Nope. I was just hanging out in a tree and then swoop. Now I'm here. Anyways, when do we get out of here? We don't. This is where you live now. Oh. You're just going to have to accept that this is your new home. Not if I can reach this latch. Wait, it's too far. Whoa! Huh? No! <laughs> well, at least we have each other, right friend? A friend? I never had one of those. Sure, he was boisterous and naive, but I did enjoy his presence. And I enjoyed Tamataki's. So I was determined to get us out of this glass prison together. One night, I waited for him to fall asleep. You see, I'd been practicing something in secret. Oh, wow. Yes! All I had to do was escape through the latch at the top and try not to be seen. Psst, Tamataki! 
Oh, uh, sorry. It's me! How did you get in here? I'm breaking us out. Follow my lead. I admit, this plan involved more head trauma than I would have liked. Trust me. Wow! You... you did it! I can't believe you did it! Let's get out of here. I guess you could say my plan was pretty perfect. Perfect? Yeah, right. Remember the forest? Where are we? Okay, so I may or may not have thought much ahead of getting us out. I... I don't know. He didn't think of where we could go next, or how we would survive on our own. Okay, so they escaped the pet store, but now they're in a giant forest. This reminds me of the origin story of Rocky, Sticky, and K. Is that a bee? I <laughs> we sneak up on it and... <gasps> oh! Oh! Wow! So that's how their tongue got so good. Is they practice eating bugs. That's what? They do that? I guess so. Yeah, they're a chameleon. I thought we were going to share it. I'm sorry. I don't know if turtles ate bugs. Maybe you can try these? <gasps> I think that was poison. Uh -oh. I started getting annoyed with Kamataki. He had certain physical advantages I didn't. Well, so did you. Uh, we need to find shelter. No, uh, I'm good right here. Speaking of, remember the time with the hawk? Uh-oh! Run! I can't run! Go in your shell! No way. Ah, he left me for dead! No, no! I didn't! I knew you'd be okay! Oh my god, Tamataki! I had no idea you'd be okay! Uh-huh, sure. You know, maybe it would be better if we went our separate ways. What? Why? We're in this together. You got us into this mess. I saved us! You're the one who wanted to leave. How are we going to survive outside of captivity? Man, why does a turtle have such a bad attitude, man? His friend saved his life, and now he's just angry, dude. So true. Come on, bro. Great. Probably another beast that's going to try and swallow us whole. Maybe. We won't have to survive out of captivity. Hey! Hey, you! Stop that. It's not like they can understand you. Come a talkie, wait! Take us with you! Take us! Oh! I'm sorry, Tamataki. You know what? It's fine. Because I am never speaking to you again. What? But we're best friends. Not anymore. Hello there, Mr. Chameleon. Are you ready to become extraordinary? Tamataki? Tamataki, help! Tamataki, I'm sorry! Maybe I deserved it. It was all my fault. <laughs> Tamataki was the smart one, after all. I should have let him decide what to do. And I shouldn't have left him out to dry over and over. I just wish he'd forgive me. I wanted to, but I was stubborn, and was convinced I'd be better off without you. That is, of course, until I saw your plans, Ban Ban. You wanted to make Kamataki a monster, and I couldn't let that happen to my best friend. I had to save him, or at least try, so I followed his lead. Alright, Tamataki, you can do this. Ah! Well, 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 aren't we bold? You know, since you two want to be together so badly, maybe I can figure it out so we're all happy, yes? You tried to save me? It was the least I could do, best friend. Change of plans, my scaly subjects. I've got an even better idea. Because the only thing better than a one-headed dragon, a two-headed dragon. No, that that potion, it said GV, that stands for Javanium. That's the EX in Garden of Batman, bro. What if they poured Javanium on me and I ate him? And remember, guys, keep watching. We still have that Chapter 4 trailer to watch, and we will show you actually what happened to Chamataki and Tamataki. There is a secret room in Garden of Batman. What are you doing? Dude, well, imagine if we were combined That's together. That's what I said earlier, bro. I know, I'm trying to like show them. It'd All be right, weird. Well, you would be the turtle. I'll be the lit chameleon. Right, that's true. With the tongue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> lit. I'm glad we did that. Lit. <laughs> Yikes! They're mixing DNA. Uh oh. Kamataki, <gasps> we're all right. Kamataki, are you okay? What have you done? What are you doing? You'll pay for this, you monster thing! Uh oh. Good luck catching me with those turtle legs. You better run! Oh, that was unexpected. I had no idea why Kamataki was freaking out. Sure, I wasn't happy either, but. But you're not getting away from me! 
you ruined my best friend's life. I have to make you pay. Is that why you're doing this? Of course. For me? Uh, I got us into this mess, Tamataki. I'll finally admit it. You wanted to be free, but now you're trapped here, stuck to me. Tamataki, if I have to be stuck to someone, I want it to be you. Aww. You're my best friend. And now, I guess we never have to be apart again. No more tanks? No more hawk attacks. I'd hug you, but we only have... Shared arms. See? You insolent little reptiles should be thanking me. Without my interference, you'd still be out in the wilderness, struggling to survive, eating bugs and poisonous fruit. I made you something bigger and better than you were before. The ultimate beast. The two-headed dragon. Well, I don't remember either of us asking for that, Ban-Ban. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and now you're going to pay. We'll see about that. Drone? Drone? How big they got a drone with blasters? Oh! 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 Tamataki, you did it! We're finally free! No, Tamataki. We did it. Aw. Let's go! <laughs> now that was a happy ending and all, but this is what actually happened to Chamataki and Tamataki in the Garden of Man 3. After you oofed them with the rockets, you can actually go down a secret staircase, guys. Mm -hmm. We actually showed this in a video. You go down here, mm -hmm. and there's the oofed Chamataki and Tamataki, which is even sadder now that we know their origin story. That is true, guys. This is an official leak, and we will show you right now what happened to Chamataki and Tamataki. Ah! Tamataki and Tamataki are oh, Ew. And, and and this right here is a Lanky Box exclusive. That's true, guys. It really is. It really is. So that this is like um like a hospital bed or this is like an experiment table. And we're gonna pick it up and put them on this. And we're gonna find out the secrets behind this, guys. And after this, we're gonna see a brand new Garden of Batman 4 League trailer. Exactly, guys. Chapter four, you don't wanna miss it. You guys do not wanna miss it. Hold up, mm. hold up. No, wait, what is that on the wall? That's, wait, that, dude, just hold up. Adam, hold up, skibbity bomb. Yes, yes, hold up. Got it, guys, got if it. If you go down here, mm -hmm. okay, you gotta pick up the party hats first. We didn't do that last time. Pick these up. We're actually gonna see maybe the Jester? And we're gonna see, remember in that video earlier, we'll put a clip on screen, they had the, the berries? Yes, of course. We're gonna see them again in this game. It's all tied together. And there's Bambolina, what are you doing down here? Wait, what? Bambolina, why are you being so saucy? Maybe she was helping Ban Ban, like, turn them into Chamataki and Tamataki. She was probably the one mixing up the, the Javani. Oh! Yeah, guys, watch out for that. Watch out. Oh! I know, Foxy. It's not that lit. Oh, one, two, buckle my shoe. <laughs> Three, four, buckle some more. We put them on the experiment table. That's what Bam Bam did when he just combined them. What mm -hmm. we just saw. Like Namnalina. Now we go over here. Look at look 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 come come over here, dude. Come over here. Those are the poisonous berries we just saw in the video. Oh, it's all connected. It's all connected. Now check this out, guys. That's the Jester! Ew! He's the one who poisoned everything! But now here's the brand new Garden Batman 4 trailer right away. What is that? Is that Mr. Krabs? Oh, it does oh, look like no. Mr. Krabs. You think maybe they fed him some Javanium on a Krabby Patty? <laughs> <laughs> Sus, dude. Sus. Wow. Shout out everyone that got the Lanky Box SpongeBob merch. <laughs> hey, Ghosty That's Mr. Ghosty Krabs. Ghosty Mr. Krabs. Dude, that is so sus. This is brand new. This is real. This song is so lit. I love this song. Oh, what? what is that? Hey, yo, hold up. What is that? Is that like a butterfly or an elephant with like a hat on? It's either an elephant or a frog. Or like a mix. Okay, guys. Detective Justin is now on the scene. <laughs> oh. And Detective Justin is getting sturdy as we speak. <laughs> this is how he solves mysteries at our house, guys. <laughs> he puts that on and dances, then he'll solve the mystery of the missing cookies. Solve the mystery of who's getting sturdy. <laughs> it's me! <laughs> Yo! Oh! How many new monsters are there? What is that? Is that Stinger Flynn's, like, grandpa? 
Probably. When the lights are gone. When the lights are gone. Then it's not lit. lit. True. Treasure chest. Looks like Ban Ban, like a chair that he would sit in. Oh, oh. That song, guys. What is that? What is that, bro? What is that? Gotta be Stinger Flag. What is that, Batman? What is that? Oh, right? oh Ban Ban Man. Ban Ban Brat Batman Man. Nothing shines me there. Mm -mm. I agree. Don't shine me there. <laughs> what is that? Looks like that, Venom. That looks like a chair for a king. That's where Justin would sit then. Mm -hmm. I'm a king. Right. I got king energy. So that's what Bob says. Right. What's this? Oh? oh Who's that movie theater? theater? What? Why are they at the movie theater? Probably watching EXE. Oh, yep. That's definitely for sure. What is that? What is that? Who's going to sit there? Oh, what was that? Something moved. There was someone coming up there, guys. Was that the jester? Where are we? What is this? What is I looking at? It's another movie theater. It's the movie theater of Bam Bam. What is that? It's a Ew. it's a crab. A crab. What? Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> what is that? What is that? Ah. Oh, what? Pause that. So guys, Whoa! there's the new crab monster. There is that, I don't know what that oh, is, God. that kangaroo cyan bug thing. What is that? I don't know, what is that? And then we got, what is that, like a bull? Like a, like a cow? Yeah, we got Smiley Miley, we got Hunky Jake. Wow, there's a lot of new characters here. Guys, let's see that again. Okay, this is the giant crab. It might be the king crab. Oh, you're right. Yeah, Ghosty's the queen crab. <laughs> Mr. Krabs. Now that is the scary cow bull monster. When the lights are gone. When the lights are gone, who will light the way? Justin from Lanky Box with his flashlight. At 3 a.m., guys. That's true. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 there he is, guys, he's back. <laughs> Nothing shines me there. What does that mean? What does that mean, Foxy? I don't know. It's pretty deep. So maybe the crab is like the, the main boss in chapter four? He might be the main character, bro. Because Stinger Flynn was at the beach with Zophius. And crabs live in oceans and rivers. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Justin's actually friends with a lot of crabs. One chomped him one time. Guys, be careful around them. <laughs> yeah, it chopped them on the nose. It was be careful crazy. Around. No, don't ever let that happen to you. Yeah. And then I found out it was just Adam's mom wearing like um like a kitchen glove that was in the shape of a crab. Right. Yep. Ew, what is that? Like it's like those car wash like inflatable things. Oh wow! That is so sus, bro. Why do you think like there's the evil side? The good side, but then Jester's kind of all by himself. Because he's half half, dude. This is the good side and this is the evil corrupted Jermanian oh, side. Oh wow, that's so you, deep. You know who that reminds me of, dude? Who? Justin Dx! Today we're watching a bunch of the craziest Rainbow Friends Chapter 2 videos like the sad origin story of Cyan. Huh? It's oh, the yellow late for class. Oh, he's sad. Oh man. Everyone's picking on yellow stop, bro. Wait, what? He's got the helicopter on. Helicopter, helicopter. What? Oh, red says, don't be me. He says, blue, you do the math. Oh, yellow saying, I know the answer. Yellow, I know the answer. Yellow helped him out. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is the sad origin story of Cyan Rainbow Friend. Orange. They're sleeping. Uh, uh oh. Blue? Is, is that you? Uh, guys, come on. This isn't funny. What was that? Whoa, it's Cyan! It's a good thing I'm fast. Whatever this thing is, it's gonna have a hard time keeping up with me. Huh? Ugh, this thing's huge! Got a speed demon! I gotta hide! God, God, God! 
There. Whew. Okay, now. I just need to stay quiet. There's no way it'll find me in here. No, you're not safe. Uh-oh. What's that noise? It's head. They're using it like some kind of detecting device. Is oh, it left. It gone? Ah! Oh, my head. Wait, please, don't do anything. I, I just don't want any trouble. Enough. I'm not here to listen to your pathetic pleading. I'm here because I need to get my revenge. Hey, you're not giant. You're not that much bigger than me. Oh! We can get and see what happens. Okay, you're tough. You're tough. Look, I, I don't know what's going on, but maybe I can help you. Help me out? <laughs> no one could help me out. Not after what was done to me. You see, not too long ago, I was just an ordinary girl. I spent most of my days hiking with my best friend, searching for lost treasures, dreaming of one day of striking rich. Wait a minute, is Cyan the girl or the dog? Ooh, we're about to find out, guys. This is the origin story of Cyan Rainbow Friend. But that's when everything changed. What is it, boy? Did you find something over here? Oh, boy, I don't know what it is, but I've got a good feeling about today. Uh-oh. Huh? Well, well, well. If it is an old magnet head and her pathetic puff. Find anything good today? Couple pennies, maybe. Hey, that's mine. Give it back. Hey! What? This? Oh, better go find it. Huh? Oh, that's so mean, bro. They're picking on her. They took her metal detector through in the ocean, bro. Exactly, guys. So Cyan, as a human, was getting picked on. See you around, magnet head. <sighs> it's totally busted. I'll never find any treasure. Huh? What's this? Some kind of gemstone. No. It's beautiful. That gemstone changed my life. From that point on, I was a somebody. Later that day, I sold the gemstone for more money than I had ever even dreamed of. Wow, so she got lucky and found this gem and then she sold it and became super duper rich. But how is she going to turn into cyan? Let's find out. And I used that money to buy myself a bunch of fancy new treasure hunting equipment. And the entire park I found the gemstone in. For safe measures. But it didn't remain a park for much longer. My investment wound up paying for itself 10 times over. We found massive deposits of strange cyan ore. Suddenly all my dreams had come true. I was filthy rich. But I'd soon come to learn a devastating truth. Money can't buy everything. The vet told me he had come down with an incredibly rare illness. Oh my goodness, bro. Her puppy is oofed, bro. So she has all this money that she got from finding that gem, but she can't pay to fix her dog's I, illness. I bet she's gonna try. She's gonna try and save him. Yes. Yeah. Nice. The vet told me he had come down with an incredibly rare illness. Suddenly, my best friend only had a month to live and there was nothing I could do about it. Please, sir, there has to be some kind of surgery or something that can help him. I'm afraid not. His condition is incredibly rare and incurable. I'm sorry, but this isn't about money. There's just nothing I can do. It was a dead end, but I wouldn't give up that easily. Without the vet's help, I didn't have many options. So admittedly, I turned my focus to some more unscrupulous back channels. But no matter who I asked, all roads led back to the very same place. A place rumored to be performing some of the world's most cutting edge controversial surgeries. Nah, she's gonna end up at the Rainbow Friends facility and Red Rainbow Friends gonna inject her with the XE. Exactly, guys. Red Rainbow Friends are probably gonna be like, I'll fix your dog, but I need you to turn to a Rainbow Friend. Uh, nah. to go see for myself. I broke in late one night and wandered the abandoned fun house, unsure what or who I was truly looking for. Hello? Is anybody here? And eventually, I found someone. Or should I say, someone found me. Ah! Oh, it's just a cutout. Oh, oh how silly of me. For a second, I thought you were real. Ah! 
I made a break for it. Seeing one of you monsters made me forget the entire reason I had even shown up at this terrifying place. But as I desperately searched for the exit, I wound up finding something else. Who are you? What are you doing in my laboratory? You're an intruder, aren't you? Please, I came because I need your help. And why would I help you? Because I can make it worth your while. He was greedy, just like I was. And I used that to my advantage. Red and I got to work on a design for my dog's new body. But it wasn't going to be just any old body. We were designing him something entirely new. A body that would make my boy the perfect companion for detection and excavation. Wow, so she actually teamed up with Red Rainbow Scientist by paying him in the Cyan Gems and they designed Cyan Rainbow for him, bruh. Wow, to have the perfect claws, the perfect teeth. This is awesome. Needed upgrade. But unfortunately, all of our nights of hard work would end up going to waste. The doctor's estimate of a month wound up being two weeks. My best friend was gone. So I went back to Red and explained to him what had happened to my boy. The body he was designing was no longer needed and I wanted my gem back. Yes, well, fine. Let me go grab it then. Already so evil, he's gonna keep the gem and then turn her into Cyan, bro. Oh, never trust Red Rainbow Friend, guys. To this day, I don't know what I was thinking. What kind of fool would just go back to that horrifying place just to get that gem back? My error ended up being a fatal one. <laughs> what? Wait, no! No! I woke up strapped to an operating table. Wait, no! Oh. Oh. What the? What have you done to me? I've merely given you an upgrade. I'm sorry, friend, but I couldn't afford to see you leave with my precious jewel. Wait, come back here. And that's why I'm here, to finally get my revenge on Red. Wow, Red is so evil, bro. He took the gem, he took her money, and then he still made her into a rainbow friend. Why do you do that, Red? Yeah, that's super evil, guys. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. You want to get revenge on Red? Why don't you just start with that, silly? I'd love to help you get revenge on Red. You would? Of course. Nobody here likes Red. Not after all the terrible things he's done to us. Let me help you, Cyan. With your speed and mine together, Red doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> you know what? I like the sound of that. Nice! Hmm. Nearly done now. Just a few more tricks. Fuck up. Who goes there? Your reign of terror in this place is done, Red! Now give me back my gemstone! Oh, well, if it isn't my magnet head creation, Cyan. Fancy seeing you back here. And it looks like you found yourself a friend. Don't make this any harder than it has to be, Red. Just give her back the gemstone. Hmm. Well, I must say, you make a compelling argument, Orange. But I think I'll hold on to it a bit longer. What? Fine, then. You leave us no choice. Let's do it the hard way. You two may be fast, but my mech suit is even faster. Wow! It's lunchtime! <laughs> what? Did you foul beast? This is disgusting. Time to finish this for my best friend. Oh! There. Now I can get back to work. Get oh! Back my gem, Red. Never. Turning me into a monster was never a part of the deal, Red. Well, you weren't very specific when we were discussing things. Oh, my head. Wait, I have an idea. Time to finish this. Now stand still. So long, Cyan. I'll be taking this. Huh? What? No! Nice. Now we're going to see all the Rainbow Friends drawn, but when their robo animatronics got taken apart, guys. That's Cyan. But Cyan's like, oof. Ow! Oh! 
Oh man, their eyeballs popping out. On a spring. Wait, do you think the Rainbow Friends are animatronics? I thought they're people because we just learned Cyan's sad origin story. It's a human that got turned into it. Oh, that's true, guys. Yeah, I do think Cyan was at one point a human. Oh, it's got wires everywhere. Man, now I feel really bad because the only reason they got turned into Cyan was because their puppy got sick. That's really sad. They were trying to do the right thing and save their puppy. Red Rainbow Scientist is so evil. They really are, guys. They really are. They had a deal, but then he lied to her. Yeah, that's why you never want to trust Ban Ban from Garden of Ban Ban or the Red Scientist. I really think they could be the same person. You, you you think so? I think they could because they always trick people into turning into their own monsters. Mm, so you think Cyan and Tamataki and Shamataki might be the same because they're it's the same color? Yeah, possible. Green Rainbow Friend and Jumbo Josh might be the same. Stinger Flynn and Orange might be the same. So wait, that means that you might be the same as Purple Rainbow Friend. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. And now it's Yellow Rainbow Friend also oofed. Also with the wires uh, coming out, bro. Oh, man. This is so sus, dude. So this is what the inside of a rainbow friend looks like? But this isn't the rainbow friends are animatronics, which they're not. They're humans. Right. I'm pretty sure they're humans. Oh, man. I'm pretty sure unless... Red is a robo genius and he made them all out of robots, mm -hmm. but I don't think they're robots. Uh, I don't think so either. I think this is super duper uber duper sus. What do you think the backstory of yellow is? You think maybe there was just a dinosaur that really liked eating lemons? No. I bet it was the same as Cyan, where it was someone they had a pet bird, squaw, mm. and they tried to bring it back to life, mm -hmm. but then, uh, you red tournament to a tilt! Right! Right! <laughs> that's, that's what I think happened. That's gotta be what happened, guys. What is this, bro? Is that green oof? It's green animatronic. Yup. Man! This is Five Nights at Rainbow Friends, bro. Actually, though. Five Nights at Rainbow Friends, guys. Now, green, uh, his eyes popped out, but he can't even see, so that doesn't even really matter. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I wonder how green went blind. Probably, um, because Red probably poured EXE on his eyes. Oh, yeah, when he was dumping the bucket of EXE on him, splashed him right in his eyes, just made him unable to see anymore. Man, that would be the worst. Worst. Yeah. Who are we gonna see next? Blue, purple, orange? I think it's probably gonna be blue. purple. I knew it was blue. Oh, man, how'd you know? I knew it was blue. Now, fun fact, guys, you actually see blue and green animatronic at the end of Rainbow Friends Chapter 2. That's true, guys. <laughs> okay, what is this, bro? Oh, it's orange. Man, why are they all oof, man? Why are they all oof? Who took them apart, man? Probably red, man. Or maybe the guy that's at the top of the Rainbow Friends ride that we saved, that old man. You you, what if he's... The red rainbow scientist. I never even thought of that. Yeah. Oh, that would make a lot of sense. And he had to oof the monsters because they became too powerful. And he said, I have to control Oddworld, so all of you guys have to get oofed. That's what I'm saying, dude. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, dude. Man. Or Orange might have just ran into a wall because he thought it was a like a cake or something. Um, Orange... It looks like he was made here out of Legos, which makes sense because he probably likes Ego waffles. Oh, that's definitely true, guys. That's definitely true. I'm putting together the pieces like a Lego. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, guys. Justin also loves Ego waffles. Yeah, and Legos. Yep. And there's, uh, but I only have Mega Blocks. This is purple. Oh. That might be like me if I was an Ammon to try it. <laughs> it's possible, guys. <laughs> Which is possible because I might be a robot. I'm an AI. That's true, guys. Justin actually is a robot. He's not a real human. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> oh, his software malfunctioned. Sometimes I was short circuit, dude. Yep. There's purple. Purple is oof, and purple, that doesn't make sense to because purple lives in the bands. So they're around water. So they couldn't be a robot. They would short circuit. <laughs> Unless maybe they're a waterproof robot. There's no such thing as a waterproof robot. What about like an underwater robot? No such thing. Like a submarine. That's a boat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. What's so funny? And bro? here is Blue on, so on the operating table, and I think they're like fixing him or something. What's so funny? Nothing's funny. Nothing's funny. There's Blue. Oh, what? This is... Omega Latronic. They took parts from all the Rainbow Friends, put them together. Oh man, blue, purple, orange, green, this and is, yellow. This is so sus. But yeah, where's Cyan? Where's the Cyan part? Look, the table's Cyan. 
They turned Cyan into a table? Man. They chopped up Cyan. Oh, Put man. Put him into a table. That's the worst, guys. Worst. Yeah. Guys, maybe this is a giant chapter three Rainbow Friends leak where you gotta fight a giant Megala rainbow friend that's all mixed together and there's red so evil he is so evil he's just looking like this Ty Adam looks at his mom yeah sometimes 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 he's scheming how to get more Adam does need milk bro I really do guys Adam, always if you drink milk you can grow big and strong whoa oh, look at the rainbow friends as robots uh, that's so cool. Okay, now this is also Cyan's sad origin story. This is like the backstory. Hey yo, hey yo, what is oh. that exe? They're corrupted. Hey yo, what is that exe? Oh no! Oh nah. boy! Oh no! Nah. Oh boy! Oh no! Nah, nah. Oh my goodness! This is the worst. Oh my goodness! Oh, hey yo! Oh, oh, oh! oh. No way, dude! It's Flowey, and she says howdy, and everyone says what? So she's a new character in Garden Mammoth Chapter 3? Look! I'm Flowey! Howdy, 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 howdy. Um, it's pretty clear who this is. Shut up! <laughs> she's coming. What should I do? Act natural. Hey, yo. What? Oh, I get it. They said act natural. He turned, Chef Pixar turned to a pig, and Silent Steve turned into a purple snake. Oh, that's clever. Pretty We're actually gonna see the origin story of Chef Pixar in this video, Bro. guys. Oh. Hello, young lady. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Why did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, young lady. <laughs> Ouch. Yo, what are you eating? For me, I really like corn. <laughs> Man, I love corn, bro. Yeah, guys. Bro, it's corn. For me, I really like corn. <laughs> I like about corn. It's corn. A good little bit now. It's corn. <laughs> it's corn, dude. <laughs> huh? Hey, yo. He took the corn. Uh-oh. Origin story of Chef Pigster from Garden Man Man 3. I told you the new guy was a freak. We're all freaks. I didn't think he would be this much worse. <laughs> My precious morsels. You're not gonna get away from me that easily. Oh my goodness, bro. Chef Pixter is so sus, bro. Wow, look at the way he runs, too. Sus, <laughs> sus. You're not gonna get away from me that easily. You'll be lunch before you know it. We should split up so at least one of us makes it. Fine, but you better come back for me. Got it? Oh. Oh, I'm not very heavy. I don't think this is gonna last. Any night, my lovely little meal. Oh! Uh, what the... <laughs> Where am I? Oh my goodness, Chef Pigster turning Pinko Pelibur into some KFC! <laughs> Sus. <laughs> no, no, I am not about to become fried chicken! I'm not even a chicken! <laughs> <laughs> Good luck getting out of that twine. You wouldn't be the first one who tried and failed. What are you doing with me? Isn't it obvious? After all, it's almost lunchtime. You can't eat me. I I'm another animal just like you. Where's your loyalty? Quiet. Soon this little flame will erupt into a massive campfire, and then you'll be supper. Look, look I, I don't understand why you're doing this. Like, there's there's plenty of food around the kindergarten. Like, I I I, I can get I can get you some eggs. I, I've got lots of those. Oh, my delicious little bird. That has never been enough to satisfy my cravings. Not even from the beginning. You guessed it. 
All of this is thanks to Ban Ban himself. Oh my goodness, bro. So this pig always had four eyes and Ban Ban locked him up for some reason, bro. Wow, look Sus. at the little piggy. Sus. <laughs> Hold still, little piggy. No need to cry. Wee, wee, wee. He said wee, wee, wee. Oh my goodness. Oh, ew. Sus. <laughs> See, I was born on a farm, just like a normal piglet. Well, not a totally normal piglet. I was special. I was born deformed, with four eyes instead of two. Of course, it didn't hinder me. If anything, I could see twice as good. And my mother, she loved me anyway. Unfortunately, that wasn't true for everyone. What the, what is this thing? What did you do? You only had one piglet, and it's this monster? I'll oh, have you taken off to the slaughterhouse, you useless so. <sighs> Fine. I'll let you keep him for now. Bro, I don't even understand. That's crazy, bro. So this, what's, that's the mommy? That's the mom, and he's a pig that has four eyes, guys. That doesn't even make sense, dude. So that's the baby chef pigster. Mm -hmm. Its mom would be a cow, obviously. <laughs> I'll let you keep him for now. My mama saved my life that day. Both of our lives. But it didn't last long. Oh. You're coming with me. <sighs> I'm not taking you anywhere bad. I'm just getting you checked out by a vet. If you want to have more piglets, we don't want them turning out like that. I watched as the farmer led my mama off to the distance, loading her up in a truck. Of course, I couldn't read since I was a piglet, but I had a bad feeling about it. Oh my goodness, bro. He about to turn his own mommy into some bacon. Wow. So his mom's about to go oof, guys. That's crazy, bro. So now Chef Pixter's all by himself. That was the last time I ever saw her. Don't worry about your mama, kid. You'll be seeing her again. Pretty darn soon. What? Yeah. I had no choice but to run away. Sticking around was certain death, and I had nothing left to stay for anyway. I didn't stop running for miles. A little pig didn't belong in the big city, but I had no choice. It gave me a place to hide. I was too young to fend for myself. I had no mama left to feed me, so I did what pigs do. I ate trash. That is so sad and super sus, but I thought Stinky Joel was the one who ate trash. We'll put a clip on the screen. Why is Chef Pixter doing that? Oh, I wonder what he's gonna find in the trash. I couldn't find anything edible until I got to the very bottom. Nah. That's where I struck gold. Uh -huh. Little did I know this was about to change me. That was the best meal I'd ever had in my short life. I couldn't just stop there. I needed more of this deliciousness. What? Eventually, trash stopped doing it for me. Luckily, it's a big city. Lots of opportunity, if you get what I mean. That is, if you know where to look. It's a chocolate! <laughs> and it's on sale. What? What? Surprisingly, I wasn't a bad chef. It could use a little more seasoning. But my taste for chicken trumped my desire for a little garlic powder. I'd finally figured out how to live the good life. But then, the unexpected happened. Oh! I was kidnapped! I had no idea who captured me or where I was going. But I would find out soon enough. Man, so that's crazy. It learned to live on its own and it was cooking all sorts of food. It became a chef. But then Bam Bam found him and swooped him up. But why did Bam Bam do that? Here, little pig. Welcome, little fellow. Aren't you glad to be inside after all those nights out on the streets? A big city's no place for a little pig. Poor thing. I have a feeling people have been pretty unkind to you, huh? They must have called you a freak? Treated you like an outcast? What if I told you you'd never have to feel like that again? Do you trust me, little piggy? To be honest, I didn't. But the promise of a better life was too sweet to turn down. Here, I can change you, but not the way you think. No, I won't take away those freakish eyes of yours. I'll do one better. Hold still, little piggy. No need to cry, wee wee wee. 
and the rest was history. Oh! What? What have you done to me? I'm more of a freak than ever. Wait, I can talk? Exactly. You're more of a freak, and now you can fit in with the others. And you can speak. Don't be scared. Look how big your mouth is now, and right next to your stomach, too. All the better to eat with, no? He was right about that. My favorite pastime would be even better now. I could do more than eat. I could devour. Thank you, Ban Ban. This... this is wonderful. All in a day's work. And from then on, I would live a much happier life. Or so I thought. I became the chef for all the colorful characters of Ban Ban's kindergarten. It was just wonderful. I learned how to cook all kinds of special dishes. Not chicken, though. We can never get any in stock. Oh, how I missed my delicious chicken. But apparently, I manifested my dreams coming true. Hello, what can I get you? Just lettuce sounds great. Right, lettuce. My instincts took over, <gasps> and I just couldn't help myself. I needed my chicken. What are you doing? Oh my goodness, bro. <laughs> I have heard Justin and Foxy say that many, many times. What is the tail? <laughs> Chef Picture was getting along with everyone, but he wanted to eat some tilka. That's not a tilka, dude. We all know that's a duck. Mm hmm. Get away from me! Right. And I think that just about brings us up to speed. Finally. Looks like story time's over, bird brain. Now it's time to get to the main course. Look, I, I know you're hungry. I, I can help you find something that'll taste way better than me. I can help you find a real chicken. What? No need. You, don't you know better than to interrupt someone during their meal? Sorry, Pixter. You're gonna have to go to bed without dinner tonight. Whoa, he dodged it. Oh, she's free. Stop, drop, and roll. Take this! Any last words, Ban Ban? Cause you're about to be mincemeat! I don't have anything to say to you, but I do have something to show you. What? What is that? I think you know exactly what it is. Chicken! <laughs> My dear chicken! Is that you? You want it? Come get it! Slow down! The crispy exterior, the spices, the salty meat, it's even better than I remember! Oppola, shoot him now while he's distracted. You yes, pig! Huh? Uh oh. Now come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you! Bruh. Now, this is an actual secret camera in the back rooms. That's the pink bird we just saw. What is that? Ew. Okay, so the pink bird's sleeping. What is that? And why is he in the back rooms? What is that? Slow Celine's brother? Is he hungry for eggs? Sus. Yep. Don't steal the baby eggs from the mommy bird. That's me. Is he gonna eat that egg? Don't. Oh. What? <gasps> What's he doing? Oh, he did eat it. Don't do that! You gonna do it with another one? Oh my goodness. What is that thing? Slow Celine's mom? Wow! The bird just woke up two minutes later and realized it lost his egg. Yo! This is real footage in the back rooms of the pink bird from Garden of Bam Bam. So someone recorded this with their iPhone or something. I feel so sad. It lost its babies. Aww. I feel sad. Poor pink bird. It's gonna get revenge, bro. It's gonna get revenge. Score! Okay, here we go, guys. It's looking for the eggs. Five Fly minutes it. later. Oh, it's coming back for more. Don't do that. The pink bird knows you're gonna come. It's gonna oof you. Uh oh, uh oh. Sass. What's gonna happen here, guys? What is that? It's a boom boom. It's a trick. Yo, the pink bird knew. Now this is super crazy, guys. This is it. Among Us crewmates were in Garden Bandit Chapter 2. So this is where you wake up in the Garden Bandit Chapter 2. There's Jumbo Josh in the elevator. They're going to play the whole game. No way. Yeah. That's insane, yes, guys. Yes, yes way. Here we go. Yes way. Can the crewmates make it out of the Garden of Ban Ban? There's oh, Ban Ban. Ban Ban. Sucks. Oh, it's through the vent. Oh, they love venting. Guys, Among Us can vent. Guys. 
What's that? Stinger Flynn? No way. Stinger Flynn. This is Guardian Man Chapter 3. They got tied up, bro. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. They got uh -oh. tied up. <laughs> That's Stinger Flynn. <gasps> He's gonna oof him with like a battle bot. <laughs> I'm so funny, man. You're right, man. Here we go. Oh, they stopped it. They broke it. Kablooey. <gasps> Stinger Flynn's angry. Now they're blasting Stinger Flynn. Oh my goodness. Among Us versus Stinger Flynn. Get him. Yo! Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Yikes! Ew. Got it! We got squished! Yuck! Ouch! Yucky! So they beat Captain. Or I mean, Stinger Flint. Yeah, and now here's the pink bird. Squaw! We're why gonna is, beat all the monsters. Why ew. is it like oof? Do Chef Picture do that? Why do they take a selfie with it? Ew. Sus. Ew. Uh oh. Oh, it's Captain Fiddles and he's looking so sus slobbery. Here we go. Uh oh. Oh, they gotta fight both of them. Oh. Got him. Oh. Watch out. Oh! <laughs> watch out, watch out, watch out! Watch out for that thing. Sus. Yo! Will they be able to fight new Garden Man in Chapter 3 monsters like Chef Pixar, though? Ah. Oh. It was a good attack. Yeah, look at that slobber. Ew. Oh, he ran into the bird. They knocked each other out. Run! Oh, they're gonna team up now. Oh, he tripped. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Blues, or green is oof. Got him. Got him. Oh, are they gonna be friends with Pink Bird? Yeah! What are you? Hey, yo! Ew! Sus? Okay. They're gonna oof. Threw something at him. Oh! They're gonna go fight him. Whoa, cool! Cool! Nice. What's next? That was unneeded. What is this? Guy Advantage had a three map? We've never seen this. It's Ban Ban yet again, bro, looking sus. And he put lasers everywhere and drones, oofing drones. Wow. They gotta fight all the drones. They did it. Fix electrical. More drones. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. More drones, I'm gonna get ice cream cones out. <laughs> Adam, what do you think about this? I think that they're going to get stopped when they reach Nab Nab. It's Bambolina, Adam has a huge cuss on Bambolina. I don't have a crush on her. Yes, he does. Oh my goodness. It's upgraded drones. Oh, they're getting new. Oh, he woke him up with some water. Oh, smart. They got a blaster now. Nice. Smart, smart, smart. Okay. Nice. They're gonna get, oof, Bambolina. <gasps> She's gone. Adam has, a, Adam has a huge cross on Bambolina. What are they doing? Yo, it's Bambolina and Bam Bam. Oh no. They're probably on a date. No, they're not. Adam has a huge cross on Bambolina. No, I don't, Adam guys. Has a Adam has a huge cross on Bambolina. Uh oh, I don't even know what's going on, dude. It's like a hacker battle. What? Nice. The lights go out and they do the fighting. Bonk. Oh. Yo! Nice. Bam Bam's nuts. Nice! Did they win? Oh! Hey, yo! Okay. Now, Chef Pigster plus Nab Nab. What is this gonna look like? Chef Nab Nab. Oh, no. Please, no. Sussy. Sussy! Ew! Oh! Oh! Ew. Oh! Now it's gonna be Bam Bam plus... Nab nab. Nab nab. Oh, this is so sus. Oh! oh Why? has three eyes. And he's like doing like a dab. This Ow. is insane. Nab nab plus a tank equals what? A nab what tank? What is this? What? Hey, yo, is that Choo Choo Charles's mom? No way. That is so sus. Bambolina, who Adam has a huge cuss on. Bambolina plus Nab Nab. Oh, no way. 
No, I, it's please na don't. Nab Nabalina. Three eyed Bambalina. Oh! Yeah! Oh! Oh! It's Nabalina. That's why I said, dude. Now it's Captain Fiddles plus Nab Nab. Here we go, guys. What are they gonna look like? Sus. Okay, that one actually looks okay. Kind of looks like me. Today, we are watching the top five memes ever. Whoa, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the Rainbow Friends. <laughs> Whoa, it's Rainbow Friends Blue, and they're falling down. <laughs> 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 We have five insane videos to show you and a secret one at the end. This is so crazy. And guys, we're going to see the origin story of the Rainbow Friends. Whoa. They're in like a blender. They went into like a cup. Oh, is that cup hid? Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool, guys. All these videos will be linked down below. This is lit. All right. Will Blue hit the ground pretty soon? Oh, wow. This is so satisfying. Bonk. Oh. oh. oh! This is the origin story of the Rainbow Friends. Oh, someone's trying to kill me. <laughs> oh, orange. <laughs> it's green. Blue. Ah! <gasps> oh, purple. Oh no. Huh? Please, I didn't want to break in. It was my friend's idea. I, I swear. <laughs> Chicken. <laughs> I got you good. Wait. No, huh? I really saw them back there. We're, we're in serious danger. Psh, your mind's just playing tricks on you. I mean, we are at the Rainbow Friends Play Place after all. The what? Wait, no, you've never heard of this place? You've never heard of them? Uh, <gasps> no, I, I don't like little baby stuff. Oh, trust me, this story is not for little babies. Come on, follow me. I'll tell you the whole history. Hey, he's purple, bro. He's lurking, bro. Rainbow Friends and their play place used to be the most popular family entertainment in town. Uh, everyone knows Odd World is the best place in town. They've got rides and funnel cake and prizes and... I know, dummy, but Odd World wasn't always here. The Rainbow Friends came first. Okay, so we didn't know this. This is actual backstory. So Odd World is where we go on the school field trip in Roblox first, but we go to the Rainbow Friends. So they were around first and then Odd World was built after. Oh, got it. It was opened a long time ago by a man who only wanted to show families a good time. He created the Rainbow Friends, a cast of colorful characters who would sing and dance and serve pizza to the guests. Everything was going great. Business was booming. Everyone loved the Rainbow Friends. Until it all changed. Rainbow Friends were no competition for Oddworld. Soon, all the families started heading to the amusement park instead. I get it, man. So there used to be the Rainbow Friends, and they would hang out and play with people. But then Odd World opened, and probably nobody went to Rainbow World anymore. It got abandoned, and that's when the monsters turned evil. Oh, okay. Let's watch. Before long, the Rainbow Friends had no customers. Play Place became a ghost town. Without customers, there was no money. Without money... There was no way to pay his employees. Soon there was no one left to be the Rainbow Friends, and the man was all alone. But being alone has a way of changing a person. And this man wasn't going to let his dreams fall apart, not without a fight. He was going to put on a new show. One so grand that it would get all his old customers to come back. I get it, dude. He's making animatronics of the Rainbow Friends. Oh, Bro. evil nightmare Rainbow Friends. So grand that it would get all his old customers to come back. He just needed some new employees to be the Rainbow Friends. Some employees who would never, ever leave. Hello. Hi. I saw a Help Wanted ad for a new entertainer at Oddworld. It's weird, though. 
This phone number isn't the Odd World phone number. Oh, this is our private hiring line. And guess what? We're ready to give you an interview. Nice. Come over right away. Just make a right at the sign. Will do. You're gonna flip it, yup! Wow. No. I'm in the middle of nowhere. How is this the way to our world? Please, help me. Good news. You got the job. Wow. What? Where am I? Oh my goodness, they got it tied up, bro. They about to inject him with Rainbow EXE. And his hair is blue. They're gonna turn him into blue. Yep. You're in your new home. You're going to be my newest rainbow friend. Isn't that exciting? Soon you'll be cherished by families all over Blocksburg. They'll come miles to see you perform. Bad news is, this is going to hurt. Wait, what? No, no, please! If they got me, they would turn me into purple. <laughs> no! And the owner wasn't done yet. <laughs> you can't have a rainbow with just one color after all. He tricked others to come by as well, including a blind man by lying where they were. Wait, that's crazy because the character Green can't see in the game. Oh, right, wow. This is nuts. He tricked another one by promising food. And that's orange, and orange comes out with the food in yeah, the game. Exactly. Bro. One guy almost got away. Come back. Don't you want to be my friend? But like I said, he almost got away. Boo. Soon, he had four rainbow friends. One short of what Play Place used to have. But the owner couldn't wait any longer. He needed to open now. Come one, come all. Come see the new and improved Rainbow Friends. Your family won't believe how realistic they are. Wow, they look so real! That's because they are real. Soon, Play Place was more popular than ever before. Everyone seemed to love the latest iteration of blue, green, orange, and purple. The owner was overjoyed, but the Rainbow Friends were not. All right, you've got your guests again. Turn us back and let us leave. Turn you back? <laughs> Don't you get it? That transformation was permanent. You're going to be here forever. Well, if we can't go anywhere else, maybe it's time we made another friend. You know, so we don't get lonely. That's a great idea. After all, there is one more costume. Come on, boss. Don't you want to be friends with us? Oh my goodness, they're going to turn him into red. No way, the evil red scientist. Bro. Wait, hold on. You're not thinking what I think you're thinking. must have gone in here. Huh, those idiots, they're not going to catch me. Oh, Purple. really? Purple! Soon the place closed down, but some say the five rainbow friends are still here, stalking the halls, looking for another friend. No way. That's just some dumb baby story. You were so scared. No, I wasn't. Nothing scares me. I'm hungry. Run! Come here. Where are you? I just want to play. The exit's over there. We're going to make it. 
What? This isn't an exit? It's locked! <laughs> oh my goodness, the scientists lured them into another EXE containment chamber. Wow. <laughs> oh! Now this is brand new Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 leaked footage. <gasps> is that the gas mask prototype? It's Daddy Long Legs gas mask character leak. Oh my goodness. What is this? What is that battery for? It's probably for the gas mask. They're, oh. they're wearing the gas mask. Is that Daddy Long Legs? What is that guy? That's the gas mask prototype. Wait. This is big leaked footage. This is never seen before, guys. This is real footage of the game. Well, what is that? There's gas coming up from the ground. You see that? Oh, I do see it. Yeah. That's why the player's wearing a gas mask. You guys can see there's like fog around him. I told you to be quiet, but you didn't listen to me. Now you are going to pay for it. Meet my dad. Gas mask, run! What? Run! He just yeeted player. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! What? Daddy Long Legs just ooped him. Whoa! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! We just dropped the fire on Run. What is this, Bruh, We're yanking the mask off him. Mask off, bro! Whoa! <laughs> Goodbye, Ron! Let's get out of here! Daddy Longlegs is saving us. He said, let's get out of here. He's leading the way out. Thank you, Daddy. Did we escape? No way. This can't be it, guys. Get my gas mask on, bro. Uh oh, wait. Oh no. Was that like a brawn lock? It's round two, guys. What? Get your plushies. This might get scary. No. Daddy Longlegs looking kind of scary. What? What's over here? We gotta find a key or something. It's another brawn? No, no, no. Was that? No. Is that Mommy Longlegs? Wait, what is that? What is it? Uh oh. What is that? It's gotta be Mommy Long Legs, but with a gas mask. <gasps> Don't touch it. Who is that? Oh, she gave us the key. No, it's a trap. That's that's the key. What? We got it. We picked it up and ran. You better you better run as fast as you can, dude. So this is from the developers of Chapter Three, guys. Okay. We made it. What's up, dude? Nice. Use the brawn key. Yup. Cool. You guys can see the battery's going down slowly. The gas mask power is running out. Who's that? It's the fur of Castle Master. <laughs> Yo, Dad's kind of swaggy. <laughs> what? No, no, no! Oh my goodness! Whoa! Curse Bundle.exe, they're oofing Daddy! Run. Yeah, let's get out of here, bro. Hop in the barrel. Yo! Go, 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 go. This, this is an official leak of the game, guys. This might be the whole game. Wow. This is nuts, guys. But they're being followed by like a hundred evil bunzos. Ah! Grab pack them. Nice. Oh my goodness. This level is insane. This is real. Get him off! No. Help Daddy! No, 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 no. Not Daddy oh, Long Legs. Ah! Oh. No! <laughs> Daddy! Oh. <laughs> Why didn't we help? Bro! What is this? Now we're about to see Cuphead Baby? Hey, baby, Cuphead! Cuphead! Cup baby oh. in a box? Nah, bro, it's the dice guy, bro. It's the <gasps> it's the demon. Oh. oh no! What is that? Another Cuphead? Yep. What is this? It's Cuphead babies, bro. It's all the bosses from Cuphead. This is cool. The flower, yeah, cool. Are we gonna get to see the carrot boss? He's one of my favorites. Guys, let us know who your favorite boss from Cuphead is. Bro, it's the dragon boss. The dragon couldn't even fit. 
It's baby coming. <laughs> it's baby long legs. Take care, Hi. boys. Barbie invited mommy to Ken's house. Bye bye. Looks like it's just I and you tonight, sport. Whoa there, Junior. <laughs> I don't think my arm works anymore. How you doing, Tiger? You doing okay? <laughs> this is a bean burrito. Uh-oh. Why is the baby and daddy doing Squid Game Glass Bridge? Never play that game, guys. You will lose. <laughs> Phew. Not that one. That's weird. Nowhere is safe for my boy. Oh. How's my sweetums? I'm great. The baby, honey. Ah, the baby. He's over there. Is something burning? I'm just heating up a burrito. <laughs> and here is the secret video. We're gonna see a Nightmare Poppy jump scare. What? Yes, guys. Apparently, Nightmare Poppy might be a character in chapter three. Nah. And she loves eating rabbit. What? I don't know, guys. We'll, we'll find out, guys. Watch out for Bunzo what Bunny. What did you just say? Check this out, guys. It's about to be Donzo Bunzo. Yep. Get Cheap. some merch, guys. Walmart and Target, guys. I'd like to pay you back. What, Poppy? Oh, no. What's she saying? Oh, no. Where is she? Why is it glowing red? I have a bad feeling about I got this. My tummy feels so weird right now. Please, no. This is really scary. <laughs> She said, said we need to leave. No, we don't. Make like a tree and leave. <laughs> uh oh. What, what is that? <gasps> Nightmare Poppy! Oh my goodness, she's eating Bonzo! Oh! 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 This is the sad origin story of Coach Pickles. I can't outrun him for much longer. He's got such long legs. Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> huh? You know the point is to dodge the ball, right? You must have had a terrible gym teacher. Good thing you've got me now. Oh, it's Coach Pickles and he's throwing basketballs at Ban Ban. That's crazy. Oh. <laughs> hey, yo. Isn't that exactly what you wanted? Come on, Coach Pickles. I don't deserve this. That's where you're wrong, pal. Please, don't. Ow! Put me down. So, you're not great at dodgeball. Hmm. Let's see if you're any better at basketball. <laughs> <laughs> he turned Man Man into a basketball? That's insane. He's going to blast him. What? No way. He's dribbling. Dunk. Nice. Nothing but net. Coach Pickles. Please. Oh, Ban Ban, I'm afraid that was a foul, and I'm gonna have to bench ya. Why? Why are you doing this? Why? You're asking why? Of all people, you should know! Before all this, I was a perfectly happy elephant running free. Guys, wait up! Wait for me! You're too slow! Come on, Pickles! Pick up the pace! <sighs> It's okay. I'll be here when you get back. Wait, so this is Coach Pickles. I thought Coach Pickles would be a human who turned into an elephant, but it's an elephant who turned into a monster. Dude, elephants can talk? I guess so, guys, but he was always too slow. Okay. I lived in the wild with my brother and sister. We were a perfect trio. I found this outside one of those weird cars. Want to play? Yeah, I'd love to. Let's play monkey in the middle. Holly, you know they don't like it when you call it that. How about Pickles in the middle? Well, maybe we weren't the perfect trio. They had a tendency to pick on me. Throw it lower. I can't reach. Oh, man, dude, they're picking on Coach Pickles. It all makes sense. They're picking now. on the Pickles. Oh, man, but how is he going to turn into a monster? Let's keep watching. Face it, Pickles. You're not a great athlete. Maybe you'll grow into it. Or not. They'd always play games without me, leaving me in the dust until one day. What? Edie? Polly? 
What are you doing? What? No! <gasps> uh -oh. I ran as fast as I could. I'd heard of poachers in our area, but I thought they'd been taken out. I did everything I could to get away. No, no, gotta pull through. But it was no use. I cried out for my family. Edie, Polly, help! But no one came. They put me up for sale. I'd go to the highest bidder. Take it or leave it, take it or leave it. Anyone want to go higher? Sold to the man in the top hat. Well, 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 little elephant. Looks like you'll be coming with me. The ringmaster. I had a bad feeling about him. Wait a minute, this person dressed in red, is that Ban Ban? Yes, guys, this is the person that's gonna turn him from Coach Pickles into a monster. My good feeling was right. You will be of great use to me once you learn to behave. And you will learn to behave. That's why the mom says us. Took me to his circus. Hope you're the sporty type. You're going to have to get used to this, you beast. Throw that ball through that flaming hoop and do it right. Oh no. All I had to do was wait for the perfect opportunity. Okay. What's he doing? Huh? Oh! Oh, all these years and you're still useless. Clearly you've never learned your lesson. Oh! What the? How dare you? I may have missed that first shot, but I wasn't about to miss this one. Oh! oh. Dunk. Slam dunk! Huh? I went on a total rampage. It's what they deserved! Those horrible humans letting this happen to me! I gave the others time to run and escape. I hope they made it. I was dragged off into another dark cold box. But this time, I had no clue where I was going. I knew I had to make my escape. I freed myself and took off running. I had no idea where to go. I hoped maybe I'd find a nice zoo or some nature preserve. I could only run so far though. Like when I was a kid, I wasn't very fast. And the years of unkindness only made my endurance lower. <sighs> Finally, I lied there for what felt like hours. I needed help, but at the same time, I was lucky no one found me. Until a strange looking fellow came along. An elephant? All the way out here? The town is no place for you to be. <clears throat> Look, why don't you come with me? I know somewhere you can be safe. Man, that's so sad, man. Coach Pickles. He was taken and put in the circus. He finally escaped, but then he got tired, and then Ban Ban found him. That's insane, guys. Look, why don't you come with me? I know somewhere you can be safe. You don't know who could stumble upon you all the way out here. If you don't hide soon, you could face a pretty terrible fate. He was right. As strange as he was, I knew I had to take shelter somewhere, so I went with him. He led me to a strange place. It was colorful and inviting. But I had a bad feeling about it. This is my kindergarten. Was my kindergarten. We've sort of fallen on some hard times. Economy and all that. That's definitely what it was. Guys, this is so sus. Listen, if you're an elephant watching this, mm -hmm. and you're running around, and you fall asleep, and you wake up, and there's a Bam Bam. Yep, yep. And Bam Bam wants to help you, oh. run. Yep. Don't go with Bam Bam. Slam dunk out of there, yeah, guys. Yeah, only if you're an elephant. Right, guys. That's definitely what it was. Despite the strange vibes I got from the kindergarten, I found myself a little bit of fun. Believe it or not, I actually started to like basketball. And I knew I'd like it much more without the possibility of being shocked. Hmm. For an elephant, he seems strangely... athletic? Well then, we've been in dire need of a gym teacher, haven't we? You still look pretty banged up. Why don't we pay a visit to the medical wing where I can give you a checkup? Uh -uh. This man seemed so kind, even if his appearance was strange. After years of mistreatment, the idea of someone taking care of me was so bizarre. But I should have realized he had his own ulterior motives. No, bro, look at that. That's GV for Javanium. That's the EXE in Garden of Bam Bam. Don't ever let Javanium go into your DNA, guys. Bro, nah, bro. Don't worry. This is just a transfusion. 
You're severely deficient in vitamins A, B, C. Play the whole alphabet. We want you in tip-top shape so you can start living your life again. No! Uh-uh. You wanted to experiment on me all along, and I let you. You turned me into a monster! No! Look what you've done to me! Why are you angry? I saved you. Saved me? Look at me. This is even worse than I was before. You ruined my life! Your life was already terrible. <laughs> if I were you, I'd start running. But I guess you weren't fast enough. Get back here! Uh-oh. There's gotta be something. Aha! You're... trapped... now! Hey, Coach Pickles, you wanna play? No! No! You put that down! Huh? He got that. That was insane, and now we're seeing Pancake Heart of Nab Nabalina, but the pink version, guys. Adam has a huge crush on Nab Nabalina. That's not true. Nab Nabalina is like Nab Nab plus Bambalina, basically. It's got the bow tie of Bambalina, but the body of Nab Nab. I would not want to get caught in this spider web. Yes, you would. No, I wouldn't. Yes, you would. No, I wouldn't, guys. Now, we're gonna see a bunch of more pancake art from Garden of Bandana. We're gonna see a bunch of more. That already looks lit. Wait until it's flipped over. Now, guys, let me just tell you guys a true story. I, of course, have been learning, practicing to become Spider-Man uh -huh, for the next Spider-Man movie. That's true, guys. Adam recently has been coming up to me. Let's see it. Oh! 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 It's Nav Navalina! Wow! That, that, looks tongue, awesome. that tongue looks 3D. It really does. That's crazy. Yeah, so Adam's been coming up to me um, and saying, what is this, dude? Crabzilla. Is this a new character? It's like Slow Swing's older brother. Yep. Yep. This is Mr. Krabs if he was angry. New Garden of Bandman character. So Adam comes into my room, because now we have separate rooms, um, and I'm learning, I'm practicing being Spider-Man, and he says, hey, hey, Justy, can you teach me to be like Spider-Man? Because then I can impress Nab Nabalina. No, I don't, yeah, man. Bro. Yeah, bro. That's a lie. Yeah, bro. No, it's not a lie. That's a lie, That's not a guys. lie. Why would I, how can I make that up? That's not true. How can I make that up? That's not true, This guys. might be a Garden of Bandman Chapter 4 leaked character, guys, right mm -hmm. here. Yep, yep. Oh, yep. wow. Yep, yep, yep. Yo! Wow. That's a pretty funny one. So that almost kind of looks like Coach Pickles. Oh, cool. It's a crab. What is next? Oh, now they're making Slow Celine's older brother that's made of cheese. It's the mutant older brother of Slow Celine, the yellow snail from Garden of Ban Ban. This is really sus, bro. Wow. This is really sus. Oh, boy. Look at those teeth, man. Adam has a huge crush on Bambolina. No, I don't. Adam, you've admitted on camera you have a huge crush on Bambolina. I don't have a crush on The more on you anyone. deny it, the more it seems like you do. That's not true, guys. Yeah, dude. Justin. Oh, wow. That looks really good this way. We imagine when they flip, it's going to look even better. Oh, yeah, you're right. We'll put a clip on screen right now of Adam admitting he has a crush on Bambolina. He did it in the giant teddy bear prank video, guys. We'll put a clip on screen right now. That doesn't exist. Yeah, it does. Nope. I just put a clip on screen right nope. there. Yo! Oh, crazy. And wait a minute, it's Coach Pickles. They're about to make Coach Pickles. They're about to make Coach Pancake. <laughs> a pickle pancake? Yeah, exactly. Oh, no way. That looks awesome. Guys, we just learned how Coach Pickles became Coach Pickles, that too. That looks awesome. Everyone write in the comments, Adam has a huge cousin on Maybelline. Don't Adam write that. Adam has a huge cousin But every comment that says Adam has a huge cousin on Maybelline, Every one comment equals one crust on Bambolina. No, it doesn't! Yeah, 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 stop! I don't have a crush, dude. Stop. Dude, are you okay, Foxy says, oh, it's Coach Pickles made a pancake! That's so lit! Wow. Awesome! That is so cool. Now I'm super hungry! Baby Foxy's first donut. Baby Foxy had never eaten a donut in her whole life. She always wanted to try a donut, but unfortunately, she never had enough money to buy them. She would do literally anything just to be able to try a donut for the first time. She had an idea. Maybe someone would be nice and buy a donut for her. But nobody was nice to Foxy. Not even a single person bought Foxy a donut. Huh? 
<laughs> Foxy became so sad. She wanted a donut so badly, she even tried making one out of cardboard. <laughs> but it tasted <laughs> awful. <laughs> she went to sleep that night dreaming of donuts. When she woke up, she couldn't believe it. Somebody left her a dollar. She didn't get a chance to thank the people who did it as they had already walked away. She walked into the donut shop with her dollar and finally bought herself some donuts. It tasted amazing! But then she realized that she was still alone and had no one to share them with. Even a delicious donut couldn't fill the emptiness that was in Foxy's heart. But then one day, a delivery of boxes arrived. And one of the boxes started moving. And it was Foxy! Foxy finally had someone to share her donuts with. <laughs> 